All right, we made it through our first day of school, really. It was like a half hour. But we're gonna show you some of the things that we're gonna do today to make going back to school virtually a little bit easier than we experienced last year, last end of school year. So stick around, Jason and I are gonna run some errands, but I'm also gonna pick up a few things and make a few things this afternoon oh, like to make um, this whole everyone being in the house doing school virtually easier. So stick around and then you'll find out. So our first task of the day, actually we've been out and about and we've done two tasks, but they're not related to back to school. So our first back to school task of the day is probably one of my favorites for this year because there's nothing that we're really celebrating in terms of going back to school. So I thought I'd do a little extra something for the kids and I really hope it works out. It'll work out okay, but I really want it to be extra cute. So that's our first stop of the day and then I'll explain what we're doing next. I've got these two and Abby and we are gonna head into Marshall's and what are we gonna get here Charles? Um, like pants. Back to school pants or are we gonna get cozy pants? Cozy, cozy pants. pants. Cozy pants. <laughs> We're gonna get sweatpants or fuzzy pants or something cozy but they have to wear regular shirts and then they can wear comfortable on the bottom. Business on top, party on bottom basically. So that's what we're gonna go do next for our back to school prep work. Now we're at Dick. Looking here, huh? Yeah, there's nothing. You didn't find any. Chelsea did. There's nothing really that there is. Yeah, we're gonna keep looking or we can order on Amazon because we're not in a hurry. All right, next up we are gonna do these little boards that I got for the girls. I got the Science Fair cardboard little boards. Let me just show you, it'll be easier to understand. All right, so I just have these boards, little tri-fold boards, sides go up. I had a hard time finding two of them, so I just got Chelsea's today. And then I also got some of these letters, they're little puffy foam letters. And then we got her this little border sticker set. There's some on each side. I got two little packs of them. And then we have her schedule for school, laminated, all ready to go. There's two sides of it color code and then I have her notebook I'm gonna find one for Ashley I think Ashley's are like in this bucket still and then they have their laptops and little lap tables to go with those and since I already had Ashley's board we've already started to decorate hers we put the foam letters on there for her name and then her schedule is pretty basic it's not there's not much detail to it it's just when they're doing writing and reading and math and when they log in and whatnot just hiding her teacher's name. And then on this side of the board, I have a little to-do spot where I've kind of glued on, I don't know, like a half of a sticky notepad right here. So she can just kind of pull these off if she has a little note she wants to write. And then we had this kind of a border uh, sticker set that I got at the dollar store for her board. It's more her personality, it's kind of cute. We did it up and around. But up here at the top, she's gonna add some more stickers and kind of personalize it. So we have some of these stickers left over from decorating their water bottles that I thought she could kind of add some stickers here at the top. And then we're kind of trying to see what else we need to go on the board. When the girls are home later, I'll kind of show you. The idea is that they can either have this facing them and have the laptop in front of them if they're working on homework. And then if, like, if they need to jot down a note or something, they can grab the sticky note and write something on it. And then if they're on a Zoom call, this is kind of what our idea was, and I'll show you more when Ashley and Chelsea get home, they have not wanted to stick around here at home because they want to play with their friends as long as they can. So I got them to go shopping with me for an hour and then they're now they're gone. But when they get back, I'll have them show how these boards are gonna work the other direction. All right, so the idea is they can sit and face it, whether they're at a table or sitting on the floor, and then they can look at their schedule and 
have the little stickies and whatnot. But also they can turn around and have this as their backdrop during their Zoom calls. So that they kind of have like a set aside background for their, you know, video chat. And both of them did it this morning for their Meet the Teacher. And I could actually see two or three other kids that were doing the same thing. And it just kind of helps with when you have like a grid of all the students on the screen, it gets pretty chaotic and it, I can imagine it might be kind of hard for the teacher to see who the kid is and see backgrounds of people's homes and other kids walking past and, and moms walking past. Having this whiteboard back behind her will kind of clean up that space on her screen and so hopefully that'll help. But it also defines the space that Ashley has to do her Zoom calls um, and I hope, well, hopefully that'll, you know, kind of improve it. So when Chelsea gets home, she's got to decorate her board today and have that all ready to go. All right, next up, I'm making these little on a call signs and I'm printing them out and laminating, laminating them so that we can hang them from doors or like I can put one here on this door if we're in here doing a call. This morning we already had an instance where someone was trying to walk in on Abby and Kaylee's room and she was on a call, so we need at least three or four of these guys to kind of put up around the house. Also, I don't know why it's so satisfying to do the laminator. It's like one of my favorite things. <laughs> I don't know, they're so clean cut and anyway, I love it. it turned out kind of cute. All right, they are all done. I just put a little ribbon through a hole and they can hang it on their doorknobs in the room that they're in. Because most of the time they're going to be in a room that they don't want the door opened up. Don't you wish grocery shopping was this easy? <laughs> Fast forward, this is the one of the last things I've got to do to get ready for school is to get groceries. I haven't gone to like the regular grocery store and stocked up on groceries aside from vacation in a really long time. And so I was buying things, I'll show you what I got, but like, I mean, one thing of butter, cause I can go to Costco and get it better there, but like half and half to make recipes with one onion and one pepper. We don't buy in small quantities like this <laughs> very often. So it, it's not often that I go to the regular grocery store. But let me take this in and I'll show you what I've got. All right, so overall, it's not a huge haul, like I said. I just got a few things and cereal like wasn't even on my list, but it was like $1.69 a box. So I just got a couple of those. But in general, I just got a couple bags of chips. We normally get them from Costco, but I'm not going for a couple days. So I just wanted to have a few here. And then we got some half and half, um, not for Italian sodas. This is for my kids who were right behind me. This is for um, a recipe that I'm going to make. And some apple cider, which again is for another recipe. I'll get to all that in just a second. We don't get orange juice very often. And we definitely do not get chocolate milk. Never. Never, right Chelsea? Never. That's um, so it's just a little bit extra tomorrow um, to go with our donuts. They already know. We tried to hide them, but they found out. So. Well, I found oh, them. she actually found them. Normally we get butter at Costco, but Abby <laughs> is already prepped to bake and she is so sick of not having baking supplies. So I just grabbed her some butter from the grocery store and we'll stock up on from Costco when we go. But I'm gonna sneak over here to talk about the baking supplies. I have not found, this is just the cheapo vanilla, but I have not found this since the beginning of quarantine. I have, we've been out of this. So she, I got some of those for her and then she loves to make no bite cookies. We ran out of olive oil yesterday. We are loving Caesar salads. So I just stocked up on these. These are buy one, get one free. The pastas were buy one, get one free. And for whatever reason, my girls have to have spaghetti, actual spaghetti to make pasta sometimes. So who knows? I got spaghetti and then I got angel hair pasta to do for the, some of the recipes that I'm, I'm gonna make. So um, we'll probably have spaghetti tonight just because I'm later than I wanted to be for dinner. So we got I just got two of these jars of pasta sauce because we used the last one the other night. And then a little something something for a snack. And then these pineapple chunks were on sale. I had it on my list to get because I have another recipe I want to make. But these were on sale. Buy one get one free and they were at $2 a can. So I got 10 
10 or 15 cans of pineapple chunks because we use these in a lot of recipes and a new one I'm gonna add like I said mm -hmm. Ashley stop and then I always check out the clearance meat especially on Mondays that's when they mark down their clearance meat um, and I got a por pork sirloin roast um, the weather is not going to get cold yet, so I'm going to put this in the freezer and save it for a cold, rainy, yucky day. But I love um, having roast and potatoes and, and vegetables. So this was only like, I mean, it was half off of, I don't even know. I think it was half off of $8.47 because it was on sale. So it was only $4 roast, which is a killer deal. And then I also got some little at ham chunks. Normally I don't buy them like pre-packaged like this where they're all cut up because I can cut up ham, not a problem, but it was half off. So these are easy for like omelets and breakfast and even like a quick dinner with some potatoes or something. So I stocked up on two of those. And then this is, like I said, we normally get groceries from Costco in bulk. So I only needed two onions and a pepper and Chelsea loves cucumbers. Yes, I do. She does. <laughs> um, and then some potatoes. And this is my audience, right here. <laughs> this is who's jibber jabbering behind me, yeah. right? Are you guys ready for school? No. No. I really don't. You don't really I'm want. I'm really bed. disgusted that you're laying on my kitchen floor right now. Comfortable. It's really gross and dirty, so I'm really grossed out that you're doing that. It's comfortable. All right, so the reason why I'm doing, I stocked up on some of these things. I'm gonna be the first to admit, and my kids and my husband will all admit, I don't meal prep. I don't like plan ahead. I haven't known what we're cooking for dinner aside from like five minutes before, unless it's a takeout pizza <laughs> for probably a year. <laughs> I haven't really done a good job. As we were coming into springtime in quarantine, before quarantine, I guess I should say, I might, might have been doing a little bit better when they were in school, but I, it was starting to become not a, not a good habit. So I've been thinking about what things I can make easily. And so I just kind of stocked up on a few of these things. I'm gonna do meatballs with sweet and sour sauce and the pineapples over rice. Try and do new recipes like that. Kind of broaden my kids' palate. I think it's gonna be great. I've had it before. And then I'm also gonna do the roast and potatoes and corn, carrots, whatever, as one other meal. And that actually lasts us for like two meals. And then, what other things? Oh, the pasta. Oh, an apple too. So spaghetti, yeah, I'll talk about that one. So the spaghetti is an easy one to make, you know, just put the sauce on it. But I also have some sausage in the freezer that we can kind of beef up the sauce and make it a little heartier and make it last longer. But then also I got the angel hair pasta to make Olive Garden's um, chicken Alfredo sauce. Abby loves that and got that when we were down in California and I looked up the recipe and I had, there's a copycat recipe for um, Olive Garden's, that Alfredo sauce. And I, I don't really love the canned Alfredo sauce. It ha has like this weird aftertaste to me. And so I get it for my kids, but I really wanna enjoy it too. So I thought we would try this out and that's why I needed the heavy cream. So that is not for Italian sodas. <laughs> the sass, the sass, no, you are not. We are going back to school. We are not doing sodas during the week anymore. They have been a re on a really long stretch of getting sodas any day of the week. And we're going back to no sodas until Friday or Saturday. Why? Because you don't go to sleep until 11 o'clock at night. It's, fine. Uh, it's not fine. So, anyway. And then, like I said, then the juices and the milk is for tomorrow morning. Just as an extra. And then the apple cider and some of the baking supplies are... Well, Abby has just been missing baking cookies no bake cookies whatever she wants to make brownies but I also saw a recipe for uh, donut holes and you just bake them you make the batter and then pour it into the mini baking pin make you pour it into mini muffin tins and bake them and then roll them in butter and cinnamon sugar <laughs> like this is that's really great and I kind of want to have wanted to have a, a recipe that felt like fall when the weather does turn because it will go from like, it will, today it was actually kind of what felt like one of those days where it's like suddenly not even 70 degrees. And so I wanted to have some recipes that I can make that feel like fall. You know what I mean? And the apple juice is part of that. You have to like, or the apple cider, you have to um, reduce it down on the stove and then add it to your liquids and then add that to your, you know, flowers and stuff. 
So I'm gonna hang on to that one outside in on the shelves so the kids aren't even tempted to drink it. So anyway, if I do any, well, Chelsea needs to do her board. Let's just walk in here because she's finally home and she's home for the night because I know all the parents are getting ready. Yeah, I'll be right there. Chelsea, you need to, I swear they were in here. She needs to work on her board. So I'm gonna get her working on that. There they are. Ashley needs, it's noisy in here. Ash, she needs to work, work on her board and I need you to finish yours, okay? But I don't know what I should decorate it with. Those stickers, you can put a few of those stickers on it, okay? Yeah. And then you're done with your board. Yeah. Okay, yeah? Chelsea, you gotta come decorate your board and I'll help you as soon as I get the groceries put away, okay? Again, she's got these for like the borders or whatever, we'll kind of come up with some kind of a pattern. And then she's got to write her name and schedule and to do on her board. All right, so Chelsea's board is done. We'll show you that one up close a little bit, but I wanted you guys to show them what the boards will look like, right? Yeah. So you can either look at the board as you're doing your homework, so you know your schedule, go like this. or you look at or you look at your computer. Yeah, you look at it and you do your homework sitting at a table or whatever, and then you know your schedule, right? And you can read it. And then you can read it, and then you have your little sticky notepad, right, Chelsea? Oops. Um, turtle. Yep, she's got little decorations on hers. Or Chelsea, show them what you do when you're doing a Zoom call. Oh, you just go like this. Just go up here and, they can see and then that is your background on the Zoom call. And then yeah. this one's Ashley's, right? That's yeah. gonna be mine. All right, so you guys excited for these? And you can take them anywhere in the house that you need quiet space. And did you guys see the um, on a call signs? Let me show oh, you. Yeah. All right. So they've got their little on-call sign. If they choose to go into a bedroom, you put that on the door handle. If you're in the office, you can put it on the door handle if you're on a call, right? I'm gonna or you could hang it off. like that if you are on a call. It, that yeah. shows that anyone who's walking by needs to be quiet, right? Okay, I think we're ready for school except we need to eat dinner and go to bed. Wow. I know. So I'm gonna, we're gonna call it a night because we're gonna go to bed early tonight. So both of you say good night. And I know you're not wanting to go to school, but you are going to school. So well, good luck. You're staying at home, like, technically you're staying at home. I know, but what better way to have recess in your own neighborhood? It's yeah, okay. it's kind of okay. All right, say good night. Good night. And thank you for watching. And wish all the other kids going back to school in whatever way to wish them luck. Right? Because this is all kind of hard and all kind of different. So. Yep. So we're just going to do it together and help each other, right? All right. Let's go to bed. I'm just kidding. Good night, guys. Take care.